Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and this is part two of our UV mapping a cube. Now, let's just start off where we left off, which was trying to take a snapshot, a UV snapshot. And, and actually, before I do that, let me uh, also show you that if I go back in here and press 6 so we can see our textures, everything is like all these black and white. You can see they're all square. That's what we want. We can see there's not going to be any uh, stretching when we add a texture onto this. But let's say that these UVs were stretched out. Let's find out where that is. Kind of move slow. There we go. You can see how I can go in here and I can just take these UVs and I can start adjusting them to get this to look straight. So if you need to, whatever your UV mapping, feel free to go in there and just start grabbing UVs and making it to uh, where they look straight like this. All right, so once you get your UVs the way they sh you like them to be, and everything looks like there's no stretching, then we're going to go to polygons, UV snapshot, browse. I'm going to put this on my desktop. Let's call it cube UVs. Save. Desktop, cube UVs. Everything looks good there. Our size looks good. Image format, TIFF is fine. I'm going to click on OK. And we didn't have any UV selected or objects. So let's go ahead and just reselect our UVs. Back in here, click OK. Now it saved it. I'll minimize. Go right to our desktop, which is where I saved it, and there it is. Cube UVs. If I open that up, there's our UVs. Now it's hard to tell, but it's just really light colored is all it is. Alright, let me close it out. Let's go back into well, we're ready to go into GIMP. Or Photoshop, any kind of software that has layers uh, would work really well. Okay, now that I've got this open, I'm going to go to File, Open, go to my desktop, look for the UVs. There it is. Open that up. All right. Most of you, obviously, are probably using Photoshop. Um, if you are using GIMP, once you open up your UVs, you can go up to Dialog Menu, go down to Layers, and that's going to open up this uh, dialog box over here that's got your layers in it. That way you can organize your layers. You can stack them different ways. All right, next thing we need to do is create a new layer. So I'm going to go to Layer, down to New Layer. There's uh, some options here. There's Transparency, White, Background, Foreground. All that means is you want this layer to be transparent. Do you want it to be white? Uh, if you look over here in the middle, you'll see a black and a white color. I can click on that black and change it to, say, red. I can click on the white, change it to, say, this blue color. What that is, that's background color and foreground. Right now the foreground color is red, the background is blue. So when I create this new layer, if I select background, it's going to create this layer making it blue. If I create foreground, it's going to make this layer red. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do transparency. Or actually, it doesn't matter. I can do transparency, but I'm going to change it. Alright, that new layer, I'm going to name it background layer. I'm going to name the other one UVs. There we go. All right, this background layer, I'm just going to select it, and now I'm going to change my foreground color to black. I'm going to use my paint bucket tool. Just click in there, and it makes that layer black. Now I'm going to select that layer up here, and I'm going to click on this button to the down arrow, and just move that layer underneath our UVs. That way our UVs are on top, and we can see them nice and clearly now. All right, let's add some color to these squares. Maybe we wanted each side of our cube to be a different color. All I'm going to do is let's create a new layer. Let's just do it on a new layer. So layer, new layer. Let's give it a name and call this colors. I'm going to move that layer underneath our UVs. I can just, okay, it won't let me drag it. Sometimes it lets me just drag it. For some reason it's not letting me do it now. So I'm just going to select that layer, click on the button with the green down arrow and it's just going to move that layer down. So now it's underneath our UV layer. That way when we add colors we can still see our UVs. Alright, I'm going to click on the UV layer. I'm going to go down here and click on the this little smart wand which is actually called fuzzy select. <laughs> and I can click and it's going to select everything inside the square. Now I'm going to click back on the colors layer pick color that I want. Let's say we want this to be green. Use my paint bucket tool, 
just click in there and it fills that green. Go back to my UV layer, click on my little wand, click another box, go back to my color layer, because I don't want to add color to my UV layer, I want to add the color on a separate layer. Pick another color, let's say red, paint bucket, click in there, it fills that red. And again, that color is being added to our colors layer. I'm going to go back to my UV layer, just so I can select one of these squares. Go back to my color layers, let's change to a different color. Let's do blue this time, paint bucket, fill that in. Repeat, UV layer, wand, another square, colors, change our color. Uh, let's make this one yellow. Paint bucket, click in there. Back to UV layer, it's just repetitive. Back to our color layer, change our color. Let's do, what do we want to do? Let's do orange. Paint bucket. Back to our UV layer, wand, click in there to get our square. Back to our color layer, paint bucket, and change our color. This time we'll do a dark blue. There we go. So now we've got all these different colors that are going to be on our cube. Let's create a new layer. Let's call this one lettering. And again, I'm going to make it transparent. The lettering is underneath our UV layer, so that's good, and it's above our color layer, so that's good. So now with our lettering layer selected, let's see, I'll just use the paintbrush tool. Let's pick a color. Doesn't really matter what, what color we use. Let's kind of make, let's use black. Why not? Or no, let's kind of use like a, oh, purple. There you go. It's not going to look pretty, but hey, as long as it gets the point across right. Okay, now we've got this little box selected. We want to get the whole thing selected again because right if we try to write, we can only write. We're on our lettering uh, layer, but we can only write inside that selection area. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. I'm going to click on anything. I'll just click on this uh, rectangular select. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click one time in here, and it gets rid of that. Okay, I'm going to go back to my lettering, go back to my paintbrush, and now I should be able to draw or write whatever I want to in here. So let's type, uh, let's just write. It's kind of hard doing this with a mouse. Welcome to Fresh Maya. There we go. Maybe we'll make a smiley face up here. Let's use a different color. We'll make it yellow. All right, better yet, let's fill that in with black. And it just, since we had that yellow outline we just did, it just fills the inside of it. And let's go back to our paintbrush tool. Let's make it yellow. Add a couple of eyes, nose, and a mouth. So there's our smiley face. And let's say down here at the bottom, let's see, let's change our color again. Maybe, I'll just make it black. We'll add some waves, maybe. There we go, so there's our texture. So now when we import this texture into Maya, it should fit on our box just like we see it there on these UVs. And our texture is not just this area right here, it's actually this whole square. So what we do need, need to do now is get rid of the UV layer. So I'm just gonna right click and delete that layer. And now we need to merge all these layers together. An easy way to do it is just go to Image and go down to Flatten Image. And now I'll save this out. File, Save As. Go to my desktop, and I'm going to save this as cube texture.jpg. I'll make it a JPEG. Let's do full quality save. Go ahead and close out all this. Now, if you're in GIMP and you wanted to save that to where you could open up those layers and everything again, then before you flatten that image, you would want to save that as a .xcf, I believe, which is the native format of GIMP. All right, so now we can go back into Maya, select our cube, 
we can go to we got our attribute editor open and if you go all to the far right the last tab on the right should be your texture your material so we got a Lambert on there you can also go to your uh, hyper shade and do it that way all right so there's our color I'm gonna go to the far right the box click on that and there's our checkerboard pattern that we added I'm just going to click on the button to the right and this time I'm going to select our cube texture open and now if you look our texture is on there exactly the way we wanted it